Hello again. Um, somebody recently asked on Talk Graphics uh, how to align two um, scans up. Obviously, the um, the image that they wanted to scan was bigger than their scanner bed, and therefore they've um, scanned it in, in in sections in two sections. Um, the problem is actually getting them lined up is often very difficult. Um, so what I've done here is I've actually um, not actually scanned it an image, but to just made an image as as it might well have happened. Um, as you've got the image, it looks okay like this. The left and the right one don't look too bad. But if you say, um, just look at these tail lights here. I've just car go around the corner and drag it over to the tail lights of that car going around the corner, getting fairly close. You can see that if you match those up, then the corner of these two properties aren't going to match up at all. So what you need to do then is to rotate this image to the same alignment as that image. And the question was, is which is the best way of doing it? Um, like all things are, there's a hundred ways of doing it. This is the way I do it. I'm going to select this um, photograph on the right hand side and give it a transparency up here. Um, with a 50% transparency. Um, the next thing we need to do is to select part of an object that's on both um, something that's on both photograph scans and I'm going to select this right hand corner angle here it's quite easy to see I'm going to select it I'm going to click over it as I drag it I click just on that corner and I'm going to drag it over and as you can see because it's semi transparent you can start to move it over to that one um, just to ensure you're getting right up, um, probably gone too, probably zoomed out too far there, um, or zoomed in too close. Right, um, oh there it is, and I'll just drag it up to there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it, that corner there, that's the overlap, that's the one behind, and this is the one in front. I'm going to zoom back out to 100%. Move this down a touch so you're both seeing it. Now we've got to rotate this one so it rotates and meets up with the rest of the photograph. And the way I do that is when you click on this, um, click on the rotate button. You can't do it just by, by selecting the arrow keys. Just click on the rotate button. And you have this center of rotation which at the moment is set in the center there, set origin in the center, it's done that by default. What you need to do is drag that as you move over it changes to a little four way arrow. Drag that and put that over that corner there as well. Now when you move this down and start to align it up until it comes like that click your photograph again with the transparency uh, set no transparency now you've got your image as you want it all lined up uh, you're going to lose bits in this edge and this one's going to lose quite a bit because I deliberately made it um, made it worse than it really should be but um, you can then select over that like that till you can get in as much as you possibly can Set that to no color, no line color, arrange, create bitmap copy. So instead of true color alpha, set it to true color, create. I'll just move on. Delete these ones now. Delete that, delete that. And that's your stitch photograph um, rotated quite nicely. Oh, I hope that helped. Goodbye.